Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm excited to share all my favorite things from the month of November. I have a lot of really great fashion items, but some beauty and lifestyle to share with you guys as well. And if you're new here to my channel, welcome. My name is Amanda and I make fashion and styling videos every single week in my channel and I would love to have you join me by subscribing and I do also blog every week over at strawberrychicblog.com. Before we jump in I would love to hear what you guys have been loving from the month of November whether it was your favorite memory or if you did something new and exciting or if you discovered something that you love definitely let me know your favorite thing from November down in the comments below. Also I do kind of have exciting news. I actually decided super last minute aka to today that I'm going to be doing vlogmas this month. Now it's definitely going to be my own version and what I can tolerate vlogmas style, but I'm going to be doing a weekly vlog or just a week in my life and bring you guys along with me throughout the month of December and post those vlogs once a week in addition to my weekly fashion content. So I'm excited to do something a little bit new, a little bit out of my comfort zone. I feel like it's always good to try new things and get out of your comfort zone, but I also feel like I have some fun stuff to bring you guys along too. So definitely make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my vlogmas, but also my regular fashion videos as well. So I always like to start with the fashion items since that is the main focus of my channel. And these are of course in no particular order, but a lot of these things I've been loving even longer than November. I just I've gotten a little behind on my to-do list sharing those monthly favorites, but I'm excited to bring them back this month. So this dress was one of my favorite finds this month from Walmart. It is just so beautiful and how it reflects the light. It has like a rose gold sparkle polka dot to it and it, you just see how it hits the light. It is so cute and it has a little tiered ruffle skirt and it's actually extremely comfortable. I don't know if you follow along over on Instagram, but one day I ended up just wearing it, working at my computer all day, which is so unlike me. I normally am in my Lou and Gray sweatpants, hair up, looking real comfy, but I actually stayed in this all day. I have a feeling this is going to sell out, especially when holiday season starts picking up, but it also comes in black as well if you're not a pink girl. I do have a full post styling this dress as well over on my blog if you want to see how it looks on and what I paired it with. I paired it with some really fun rose gold heels, which were surprisingly very easy to walk in. I'm not really a heel girl. I might try to be a heel girl, but I'm just not. And I was actually shocked at how easy those were to walk in because I had to walk across downtown Marietta shooting photos in it. And I was, again, just shocked that I could wear them and walk in them very easily. So they look a little intimidating if you're not a heel girl, but they're actually very easy to walk in. All right, next, kind of random, but definitely a necessity. I discovered Soma bras back in August was like the first time I tried them. And this is pretty much the only bra that I've been wearing this style specifically. It's just so soft and comfortable and smooth. There's no wire in it. So it's very comfortable to wear, but it's also very supportive as well. So I've just really enjoyed their fit. All right, next is a sweater dress that I have not stopped wearing. I have literally worn it every single week since I bought it at the very end of October. I've just worn it so much. It's extremely comfortable and it's this sweater dress from Topshop. And if you look close, it has a cream and tan stripe, but far away, it just kind of looks beige. So this comes in four colors. I also picked up the gray but I've just found myself wearing the beige the most because I love how it looks with my boots. But I have worn this with the Goodnight Macaroon over the knee boots. I've worn it with my Sam Edelman boots and I've also worn it with other over the knee boots. So it is just like easy and so comfortable. Not scratchy at all. It's definitely thick and warm. Um, I haven't actually shared it here on YouTube yet, but I'm sure it's gonna pop up in a video here really soon. But I should have a couple photos in the Like to Know It app that I can link you guys to if you wanna see how it looks on. Another dress that I've gotten a lot of wear out of the past few months, honestly, is this chenille dress. And I don't know if you've felt chenille, but it is the coziest material. You just have to watch because it's really easy to pull, but it kind of stretches back. It's very strange. Like I couldn't even tell you how many times my hanger has like completely gone through this and you can't even tell. But I am here for some chenille. It is so soft. So every time I end up putting this on, I just wear it the rest of the night. Like I'll wear this lounging on the couch. It's so comfortable. 
So that's why I end up getting a lot of wear out of it. <laughs> this one comes in four colors and I actually forgot to share it in my red dress Thanksgiving outfit ideas. Don't know why, totally intended to share it, but you can see it in my red dress boutique highlight over on Instagram if you do wanna see it on. I styled it with knee high boots. I've styled it with black booties. Um, just really versatile and very comfortable. So I am here for the comfort. I actually have two pairs of Sam Edelman shoes to share with you guys. Sam Edelman just makes some of the most comfortable shoes for the price point that I've found. I just really like the cushioning in their shoes and just the general style I'm always drawn to. So the first are these cute little slingbacks. These are definitely very Chanel inspired with the toe cap. And they're not actually a true slingback since they do have that heel there, but the heel height is so easy to walk in. And I just love how classy these are. You can wear them with jeans, you can dress them up. They're perfect for work because again, they're very easy to walk in and just extremely classy. Like these are never gonna go out of style. And I have the ballet pink just because I do have more pinks in my skin tone, but they do also make them in beige as well. Next is another really cozy piece that I've worn so much just because I've worn it out of the house for errands, but I've also been guilty of wearing this just around the house with leggings because it is extremely soft and comfortable and it's very warm. So this is another sweater from Topshop and it's like this bouncy kind of textured bounce material. It's very thick. It almost feels like a blanket, honestly and the size is a little oversized so i got my normal size and it's the perfect length for leggings it covers my butt it doesn't cling on my hips so i've just gotten a lot of wear out of this honestly i was a little surprised at how much i wore it just because i threw it on instead of like my sherpa at times just because it's warm and cozy but it's also something that you can wear out of the house so this is that other sam edelman shoe that's definitely a favorite i've just gotten so much wear out of these already just because the neutral color goes with everything but they're also just so comfortable to wear with the lower blocked heel compared to the ones that i got last year these are just easier to walk in i actually ended up giving the other pair to my mom just because those slouched a lot more and she's very petite and actually has a hard time finding tall boots so I knew those would be perfect for her. And these have a little more structure, but I do have a lot of petite friends that wear these too. So if you are petite, these should work for you. They have a zipper on the inside, which I also feel like helps kind of support them. Um, I would definitely recommend to size up a half size. I got my normal size and just found them to be a little too tight. So I ended up sizing up. So my personal suggestion, um, it's always good to have a little extra room just throughout the winter months especially because you might wear thicker socks as well this is another comfortable piece but i've just been wearing this around the house a lot this is actually an amazon find it's just like this pink sweatshirt dress and i just kind of throw it on don't have to wear pants and it's great and i do wear my normal size small in this sweatshirt dress so I purchased this bracelet back in october and it's just been in constant rotation ever since i find that it like it's a chunky bracelet so it makes a pretty good statement on its own but at the same time it's also just very classic just because of that gold tone and then it has one crystallized chain my camera honestly sucks at focusing really quickly so i'm not even gonna try um but this has definitely been my most worn bracelet the past couple months okay my friend's having a little bit of boy drama so i'm having to like keep my phone real close to give her the support that she definitely needs right now. So I don't remember if I've talked about this product with you guys, but this is by far my most repurchased product. I basically buy this every month and I've used it for years. And anytime I try a different dry shampoo, I always end up going back to this one. If you're blonde, especially you will love this because it has a little bit of a purple tint. It doesn't show up purple on your hair by any means. You, you only notice it on the bottle but it just helps brighten up your hair which i find i definitely need because my hair once it starts getting greasy gets a little orangey so i love this dry shampoo and it's also very light i have fine textured hair and i don't feel like this overly grits my hair and if you have darker hair i know this is one of the few dry shampoos that they also make in a dark version as well i can't speak to that one because i have not used it but this is my holy grail dry shampoo and i've been using it 
since even before I started my blog. So speaking of hair, this is a product that I added back into my routine in October and I'm not lying, like I noticed an instant difference in the amount of body that my hair had. I have never been one to even try to get volume just because my hair is very fine and it's just never happened for me. But I will say, when I switched this product, I noticed a difference immediately. And I feel like it just cleans your hair better because it's trying to take all the weight off your hair. So in general, I feel like volume type shampoos do clean your hair better. But this one especially, I noticed a huge difference in the volume of my hair. So I have a couple skincare products to share with you guys. I've noticed that I've had to change up my routine a little bit this last month just with the change in season. My skin was just not really happy with my current routine. It was just getting a little dry. So I added the Colleen Rothschild Face Oil Number no. 9 a little more regularly than I typically did. I normally just use this like once a week, but now it's been almost every other night lately. But this face oil is the one that I always go back to just because it's not sticky and thick whatsoever. Ever. compared to a lot of face oils I've tried which I've tried a good amount I haven't tried them all but this one is just silky smooth very easy to blend in and I also just love that it has a pump compared to most of them that have like the I don't know what it's called but the dropper um, I just really like this formula and my skin really loves it you can add it into your hand moisturizer your body moisturizer if you need to so I feel like it's just a very multi-purpose product and this is probably my third tube of this product so this is a newer brand to me this is from Elemis this is the dynamic resurfacing facial wash I've actually had this product sitting on my product shelf since April and I have just not gone around to trying it and I'm actually sad about that because I've really enjoyed it since using it um, for one I love the pump it just makes it easier but it smells really good it has not dried out my skin I've done a really good job at like brightening my skin and kind of helping with the texture of my skin and making everything a little more smooth without drying it out so so I've been really enjoying this face wash I'm going to continue to use it and update you guys on it but before their Black Friday sale ends, I'm going to be picking up a couple other things. I really want to try their Pro Collagen Marine Cream, which I've heard a ton of my friends rave about. And I really liked their eye mask, but they're very expensive. But I liked them, so I think I'm going to treat myself to those as well. So my last favorite is a product that you're probably sick of hearing about, but honestly, I don't think I've included it in a favorites video, and it definitely deserves to be in it. It should actually be in it every single month because I use it every single night, but it's my Barefoot Dreams blanket, and I'm sorry if you're sick of hearing about it, but I honestly use it every night. I'm sure my friend Haley, she's probably not even watching this because she's a busy mom, but she was even sick of me talking about it, so I feel like I just had to include it because it hasn't been included, and it's going to be a favorites of 2019, which... Stay tuned for that video. So those are all my favorites that I have to share for November, but I always like to kind of share what I'm working on just so you guys know what to expect next month and just some content ideas to see your feedback on them and that type of thing. So if there's any video specifically that you'd like to see next month, definitely let me know down in the comments. Like I mentioned at the very beginning of the video, I am going to be doing my own little spin on Vlogmas, sharing a weekly vlog. So you should have four vlogs in December. I know the first one is going to be kind of shopping and packing for New York and photo shoots and blog stuff. Um, and then the next one will be a very big New York City vlog, which is going to be very long. I'm actually, I don't know how I'm going to edit that. I actually might hire someone because <laughs> it's going to be an undertaking for sure. Some video projects that I'm working on, I'm definitely going to hopefully get a holiday lookbook up for you guys. I'm going to be doing a front tuck video and I'm going to be sharing a lot of hacks in that video. So if one way doesn't work for you hopefully you'll find that video helpful to perfect the front tuck maybe some more gift guides like what are you guys still needing help with let me know how i can help you with your holiday shopping and what else do i have planned i mean i have a lot planned honestly so to make sure you don't miss out on all this fun content to come make sure you're subscribed and hit that little notification bell next to it so you get a little alert whenever i post a new upload but i think that's everything that i have to share with you guys today for my november favorites don't forget to let me know your november favorites down in the comments below and thank you guys so much for watching i will see you very soon